If you're watching this video, then you probably will be taking calculus in college, or maybe you have taken it, or maybe you're taking it again, or maybe you're thinking about taking it. In any case, in this video, I'm gonna talk about three things that nobody really tells you about taking calculus in college. These are things that you probably have not heard of, and they're gonna sound a little weird, but I think they're true, and I think it's important to know this before you actually take the class. So the first thing that is actually quite shocking, I think, for many people, and it, it sounds weird to me to say this, and I'm gonna say it, it's not that bad. You might say, well, I took calculus and I failed and I had to take it twice or you know this and that. But honestly, like if you compare it to, to other math, it's really not that bad. You know, I, I took calculus. I took Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, then a bunch of classes you know, beyond that. I studied math for years, for years of my life. I took tons of math classes. I became what I think is like a professional math class taker. Like I'm really good at taking math classes. That's like my life skill is, is taking math classes. And honestly, honestly, calculus is not that bad when you compare it to other classes. For example, I think a trig class is actually harder than a calculus class. People struggle so much in trig. The, the identities, the equations, oh, the trig inequalities, forget about it. So much harder than most of the stuff that you have to do in, in Calc 1. So I think that it's really, really not that bad. And if you're in calculus now and you're watching this video and you're thinking, oh, this guy's nuts, right? Like calculus is so hard. I had a harder time in calculus. Maybe that's the case, right? Maybe not, not everyone is the same and not every class is exactly the same. But in general, I really think it's not that bad compared to some of the other math classes you take before calculus. For example, in pre-calculus, if you've taken that class, you do a lot of really hard math problems. There are some really challenging, you know, pre-calc level problems that you encounter in that class compared to, I think, the calc problems you encounter in a, in a calc one class. So in general, I really think it's kind of overhyped. You know, it's, it's not really that bad. Before I took calculus, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna go to calculus. Like, it's a big deal. So in my mind, you know, I had built it up like this really challenging thing, you know, like this really big deal. And when I got there, I found it to be so much better and so much more enjoyable and so much easier, still hard, but easier than like pre-calculus and, and trig. So if you're going into calculus and you're worried, if, if you've done well in trig, if you've done well in pre-calc, then you will rock calculus. Go in there with, with a positive attitude and know that you can do it, right? It's not that bad. Just employ all your previous study habits and then just multiply it by 10 and you will rock it. The second thing that nobody really tells you about taking calculus in college is that it really depends on the teacher. So really, it really does. And this is true for every class. And a lot of people, I think, don't like to, to admit that. Teachers especially, I'm a teacher, I don't, I don't wanna go out there and say, well, you know, uh, you know, take a better teacher and you'll do better in that class. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, take someone better than me, right? So why would I say that, right? But it's true, right? If you have a really good teacher, and I have seen some really good teachers, if you take one of those teachers, you will do better. And it's not really fair, right? Like, you know, your friend signs up for a class and you sign up for a class and they have their test and you have their, your test and their test is not so hard and they get an A, your test is insane, it has nothing to do with what you studied in class, and then, and then you fail. They get a better grade, they get an A, you get a C. Who learned more? Maybe you did, but you had a harder teacher. So it's not fair, but that's how it works, unfortunately. So it really does depend a lot on the teacher. Not just like the level of difficulty of the test and how well the tests reflect what you studied in class, but also how well you know, the teacher is able to explain concepts in class. You know, can they explain how to you know, integrate something and what to look for in the integration problem? Can they explain you know, a certain derivative problem or how to really use the chain rule? You know, stuff like that. So the teacher, I believe, does make a huge difference. That's the second thing. No one really tells you that. It's really about the teacher. And people will say, oh, it's not about the teacher, it's about you, you know. People will say, you're in charge of your own learning and this and that. And I agree with all of those things. But let's be honest here. 
we cannot deny the fact, if you have an awesome teacher that is so much better than having a teacher that is not so awesome. I mean, this is just how it is. I have had so many teachers in my life. I mean, I'm a professional math class taker, right? And some of them have been awesome, some of them have been okay, and some of them have been, I had a hard time. I'm not saying they're bad teachers, you know, other people in, in the class like them, but I had a hard time. So that's the second thing. The third thing that nobody really tells you about taking calculus in college is that it's really about the algebra. You may say, what about trig? Trig is important, it helps, but it's the algebra that is really, really key. Just like basic algebra, just like distributing polynomials, factoring, just basic algebraic operations. I feel like you really learn algebra when you're in calculus. That's what you really learn. You learn the concepts of the calculus, all the beautiful things that come with it, but like the dirty stuff, like the nitty gritty, it's the, it's the algebra. You become an algebra master by taking calculus. A lot of people recommend that you, you, know, you sharpen your algebra skills you know, before you take calculus. And I think that's a good recommendation, right? I think if you're going into calculus, that's something you should do beforehand. But at the same time, I think it's better just to jump into it and learn as you go. I mean, there's plenty of calculus books out there that you can pick up that are really, really good, right? And they'll help you learn calculus in a really good way. And that way, when you take calculus in college, you'll be better prepared. I mean, think about it. If you're going to take calculus in college, what's gonna help you more? Going over your algebra or learning calculus before you take calculus? <laughs> learning calculus. So that's why I think, uh, it's better to teach yourself calculus before you, you take it. Anyways, again, the third thing is learning algebra. It really is about the algebra. It's all of the algebra that really makes the calculus challenging. The actual concepts that like you learn in a calculus class, they can be very difficult to understand. And I'll be honest, I don't know if a lot of people understand them. Like when I teach calculus, I, I, I teach the concepts to people and I think they understand them, but I, I can't read their minds. I know that when I took calculus, I did not really understand all of the concepts. I was just good at the algebra, I was able to do the computations, I was able to answer the test questions, and I was able to get an A, right? It took years uh, for me to really understand all of the deep, conceptual, and beautiful things uh, that, that create the subject of, of calculus. So those are three things that I think uh, nobody really tells you uh, about taking calculus in college. There's other things I'm sure, and these are just three that came to mind right away, so I thought maybe I'll make a quick video, put it on the internet, but do you have any other ideas for people? What are other things you think that would be beneficial for people to know or to do um, before they take calculus in college? Let me know, leave a comment below, because people do read the comments and anything that you can leave in a comment that is beneficial to someone is, is a good thing. Oh, also, also, just before I end the video, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Also, I do have a calculus course on Udemy. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, I decided, why not, right? This is a video about calculus. I have a calculus course. It's pretty good. It's got everything in order. It's structured, it's in sections, and it's got like, um, it's got assignments. I mean, it's, it's a pretty good course. It's really complete. Um, there should be little to no mistakes. Uh, and I, I did my best to explain like all of those, those, those deep concepts, you know, the beam value theorem, the intermediate value theorem, the derivative, what is it, what is integration, all those things are explained in detail, and it's all by section uh, in the course. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Good luck, and keep doing math.